Hi, this is my Mint desktop. Linux Mint 17. And as you can see, I've already populated the taskbar, aka panel, with my favorite little babies. And then I got one up here that I haven't decided what I'm going to do with. And then my desktop icons are sort of ensconced here, you know. Okay. I already did a video in Vimeo. See, these are the eyes. I already did the video in Vimeo and Mint 13, so this looks a lot like it, but it's really Mint 17. And this little thing here with the two eyes, those are actually Windows, it's a window um, GIF that I just turned the icon into a GIF, which you do by doing something like this. You click on Properties, and you see this little baby here? If I click on it, there's no way to know this. You just have to experiment. If I click on this here and choose an icon, you can pick something like, let's say, unfortunately, they don't show the pictures. So, but when you click on it, you can see the picture. So let's say I wanted to change the icon to that. I could, or that, or that, okay? Or, and that's what this folder does, is that on my desktop is that folder right up here which is referenced here and I can open it and that's where see these two eyes that's what that is and what I basically did was I clicked on this and these two eyes became the icon for my folder which is just a folder of a lot of cursors okay so let's say I wanted to change it these are windows Windows um, icons. Like, let's say I wanted to change it to this, which is the main picture on the Mikado by Gilbert and Sullivan. Okay. Let's say I wanted to change it to that. Well, see, I clicked on the pic the picture. Here's a picture, you know, a Japanese samurai, and then I click open, and see, it automatically adopted that. Okay. And then I say close. And then it's supposed to change, but it didn't. This is supposed to change to that picture, but it didn't. So I might have to reboot in order to see the picture change. Okay, so then we do properties again. And for some reason it didn't take me because I'm recording the videos. Okay. So it didn't take. But if I wanted to change it like that's the Republican Party one of my Windows GIFs, I could just change it to that. And some of the GIFs I have move. Alright, so if I clicked open, it's supposed to change. So we'll try it again. Okay, and then we say close. Maybe I didn't do it right the first time. Ah, and see, now it changed. Now it's an elephant rather than two eyes, which is really two people arguing. And then you got the menu. Now, see, you right click and it can edit the menu. And then these are the things in the menu. And like in the, the section of graphics, these are the items that will appear in the menu and I can choose to have them be in it or not. Okay, and every time you download something, like I, I downloaded the paid version of Crossover. Okay, so that's in that menu. This is Wine. Okay, and then programs that I downloaded with Wine are not showing up so easily, are they? They should show up. I wonder where they show up. Office? No, I don't know where I put them. But I got a bunch of wine programs that I use. Okay. And you unclick the box if you don't want it to show up in the menu. Okay, so this is pretty much like Mint 13 was, basically. Okay. And then here's what the menu looks like, and it's still very familiar. You got all your recent documents. If you want this, you can you can actually select whether you want this panel to even show. And then if I select all here, I've got an alphabetical list of all the programs that are installed. Okay, and you'll notice that among them is Microsoft. I, I installed these using Wine. So that's about it for right now. Um, how do I turn this off? Signing off.